afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another presentation of Talking TV, but this time it's the news. Yep. With me today is Mr. Whedon. How does it go, my friend? Uh... I'm, I was having a good day until I got a little bit of information about one of the news topics we're talking about, and then I wanted to punch a hole through a wall. <laughs> Will you care to elaborate on what this said news topic is? Oh, my God. Okay, so after three seasons, The Expanse on Sci-Fi has been canceled. And all I got to say to it, and I'm going to try to refrain myself from swearing like a drunken sailor, uh, is that I knew it. I knew this was coming. I mean, sci-fi is notorious for canceling good shows. Almost none of their shows. Actually, no, I can't even think of one show that has ever made it past five seasons on sci-fi. Not once. Well, we I mean, do I have one show that's going to five seasons. Which is? Or is it four? The Magicians. Uh, no, it's going into four seasons. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, but, I I have to honestly say I agree with you. Sci-fi, there are, they have, they must have the dumbest fucking executives working for them ever. Well, how no, are you? Going to I, I think, huh? I mean, I think the reason why the Expanse got canceled is because I mean, come on, watch the show and you will see that the show has to be expensive to make. I mean, the CG effects in the show are phenomenal. I think that's the reason why sci-fi canceled it, because they're just not willing to pay the the cost for the CG effects. To be honest, I know that sci-fi wants to shop the show out to other services to see if it gets picked up somewhere else. Personally, the only place I can see it going is Netflix. Or Amazon. Uh, yeah, Netflix or Amazon. But the thing is, no, I, I think it'll only go with Netflix, because Netflix... Oh, it does have that deal, that's right. Yeah, it has exclusive streaming rights. So... Well, it's now going to be more of a wait and see game as yeah. who picks this up, but yeah, it, it's disappointing. This sh now, honestly, with this news, mm -hmm. I feel bad for Krypton. Yeah, I don't think Krypton's going to make it to a season two. No, I think it'll make a season two, but it might well, not make a season three. Maybe not. But the thing is, is that the CG effects in Krypton are a lot better than what they are in the Expanse. The Expanse is great, but Krypton actually is better because you have the sun shining on it so you have better lighting while in expanse everything's pretty much shot in space true so and, i mean yeah and most likely with krypton it's got more more props than it has to use for cg yeah it, it's a it's a healthy mix of cg and practical effects but um no, I mean I, I, I mean I have to agree with that assertion that it will probably end up getting canceled after two seasons. Yeah, that's a sad thing, but yeah. Moving on. Peter Jackson, please, Peter, don't take the job with Warner Brothers to make any fucking movie for their DC characters. That's all I'm going to ask. Why not? I'd rather him go back to the Lord of the Rings for Amazon. All right, yeah, I all right, look. The thing is, do you really expect Peter Jackson to direct every episode of the Amazon Lord of the Rings show? No. All he needs to direct is episode one and be an executive producer and help write. He can be, still be an executive producer and work on a DCEU movie. No. DCEU movies with Peter Jackson just won't mix. He's a very good director for building yeah. character. Yeah. And... I'll I honestly feel that the executives over at Warner Brothers won't give him that chance to build characters. They'll want him to rush it. Yeah, they want him to rush. And you've seen all of his Lord of the Ring movies were two hours plus. And that was going three hours. And that, was the, that was the extended versions. That was the theatrical versions, not the extended. The extended was a minimum of like four hours. So you could just picture he likes to world build. And the only movie that I could see him doing would probably be the Green Lantern Corps because he could world build that. But at the same time, I feel they would handicap him. Probably. Because Warner Brothers has a reputation of doing that on all of their movies. Yeah. Yeah, well, not all. I, I can only think of two where they haven't done that. And that's Man of Steel and Wonder Woman. Everything and they, else. Everything they tried to with Patty Jenkins, but she said no. 
Yeah, she put her foot down. So, and the only and the thing is, is that what Warner, if it had been any other director that said no to Warner Brothers, they would have fired them and replaced them with a yes person. And that's but what's it, wrong. Let them create their. But, but since it was Patty Jenkins, they knew that if they had fired her for standing up to them, it would have been a PR disaster. So they yeah. decided they decided to keep her on as director. Well, moving on from that, yeah. rumor is Lindsay Morgan has auditioned for Batgirl. Uh, Lindsay Morgan is from uh, The 100, right? Yes. All right. Raven. Uh, Raven, that's right. That's her name. Yeah, Raven. But um, speaking of which, I still have that episode to watch. But um, yeah, I know. I'm a slow viewer, okay? But, yeah, uh, yeah, whatever. We're not talking TV. We're talking movies. And I, I know. But uh, no, I, to be honest, I know that a lot of people are th- saying that they're going to try to make um, make Batgirl more of a minority, make her a, a different uh, different ethnic group than just white. Um, I'm not OK. I'm still not OK with that. You gotta um, see how it plays out on the screen. I'm cool the, with anything. Barbara Gordon has always been known to be white with red hair. But what if she's not Barbara Gordon? All right, look, if, look, come on. I mean, they haven't really cast anybody, but you're, they're not going to give us a casting announcement for Batgirl if it's not Batgirl. I said, she's always she just auditioned. We Batgirl. She might have been Josh Whedon's first choice. Who knows? But Josh Whedon's not involved with Batgirl anymore. I know. That's yeah. what I'm saying. She just auditioned. That's all we know. Okay. All right, but I mean. And, um, I honestly don't have faith in anything DC puts out anymore, with the exception of Aquaman. Until I see a trailer for Aquaman and the film, I'll reserve judgment. But well, I'm honestly, looking for I'm looking forward to Aquaman for one reason: James Wan. James Wan is the movie's director, and that guy is phenomenal. Well, I mean, speaking almost of James everything Wan, he's done, I've liked. Besides, speaking of him, he's supposedly rumored. Well, he's not rumored. He's also producing Swamp Thing for the uh, DC Universe. Whoa. And it's supposed to be live action. Oh, he's doing Swamp Thing. Oh, that's, that, he's going to be producing it. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah. James Wan being involved with the Swamp Thing project. Oh, that would be... I'm sorry. I'm not going to swear. Uh, it's just like, that. that's going to be awesome. That's going to be just fantastic. I cannot wait for that. Okay, moving well, on. Annette Benning is in talks to join Captain Marvel. Yeah, I heard about that. And the rumor is uh, that she might be playing Carol Danvers' mother. That's what I thought, too. Yeah. At this late in the game, coming into the movie, the movie you know, has been filming for a while. Mm. So the only person I would see her being would be the mother. Mm. Oh, that's short-lived. Wait till the movie comes out. Yeah. The Fast and Furious spinoff starring The Rock is being pushed back one week. I, I this is what I, I did not hear about this. So they're basically making a Fast and Furious spinoff that focuses on Dwayne Johnson's character and Jason Statham. Oh, so it's gonna, it's gonna be a buddy a buddy movie with the two of them. Okay, like a buddy I, cop might, movie. I might actually watch that because when I watched The Fate of the Furious, I loved the banter between the two of those guys. I thought it yeah, was so. I thought it was awesome. So we got that. I'll wait because that man's got such a busy fucking schedule. So it is what it is. And mm-hmm. since it doesn't have to deal with a lot of race cars and ridiculous stunts, mm-hmm. I could see that start filming late this year to be ready for next year, August. Mm-hmm. Stranger Thing adds actress Francesca Rail. Some shit like that. I, have I don't no know idea. who she is. Yeah, I, I, I saw a picture of her. I'm like, yeah, I don't recognize her. In the show that she comes from, I've never even heard of. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's Stranger Things. Yeah. I'm looking forward to watching Stranger Things season three, and I think yeah. it's getting an episode reduction this season. Well, that could that could be a good thing because the shorter, uh, the less episodes they have, the more they have to, the more time they have to focus on the overarching story instead of having filler. True. Yeah. Next, we'll talk about Obi Wan Kenobi. Is rumored to start production next spring. Um, I don't no. know. I'm, I'm not. 
after the whole fiasco with Last Jedi, I am not looking forward to Star Wars anymore. Okay, look. Put aside what you thought about The Last Jedi. Sorry, that movie was the worst Star Wars movie ever made. It's not the worst Star Wars movie ever made, but that is your opinion, and, and we'll leave it at that. Yeah. Everyone who hates the movie needs to tailor their expectations differently. This isn't expanded it's not, universe. It's this not isn't about, what Luke did. I guarantee you, start reading some of the comics. They're adapting the Last Jedi comic, and there's more in the comic than there was in the film. The film has to cut certain things, and people need to quit the, the bullshit. Uh, but my my issue is not with low or high expectations. My issue was that they took plot lines that were built up in Force Awakens and they abandoned them. But that's not on him. That's on on Kathleen Kennedy. She honestly she needs doesn't to doesn't change doesn't replaced. change the fact that the movie sucked. It doesn't well, change the fact that the movie was crap. Neither here nor there. I don't want an Obi Wan movie. I really don't. I would be open to it. As long as it takes place in between, uh, let's see, Re- Revenge of the Sith and New Hope. If it takes it's place in between, the only place they can. Yeah, if it takes place in that period, I would be all for it. The Although, only place it can, and one, honestly, one thing they could do, which I know a lot of fans would not want, is they could end up having it take place where Obi Wan is growing up, being a Jedi Padawan, until eventually going into the tutelage of Qui-Gon Jinn. Nobody wants that. Nobody does want that, but it doesn't change the fact that they might actually go that route. I don't think they will. It's going to, it's most likely going to center in between Sith and Hope, where he has little adventures while still watching Luke Mm -hmm. and containing his force powers. Like I said, I don't want it. I don't need it. They need to stop using these characters and go somewhere else. But interesting news on the whole Star Wars bit. John Favreau details emerge from his mm. TV show that's coming. It and takes place got... seven years after Return of the Jedi with a whole bunch of new characters. It takes place seven years after the after the uh Events of Return of the Jedi. Return of the Jedi. And I guess over the course of the entire series run could be could be explanation for what caused the start of Force Awakens, like how and... the First Order came into being. You know where else I heard something about that? Let's see. Star Wars Battlefront 2. The story in that game was supposed to explain what happened that led up to Force Awakens, but no, that's not what we got at all. I'm sorry. I If they say that it's going to take place before Force Awakens and it's going to explain what happened between Return of the Jedi and Force Awakens. I'm sorry, I will believe it when I see it. But the Battlefront game does. It has certain story elements that do do that. Really? Yeah, I've watched I watched the um the cutscenes for it mm. and it's the, you know, it's the story of Inferno Squad how they started off being servants of the empire and slowly transitioning to become rebels. Not all of them did it, only some. And stuff like that. So it had that story. And then it had the nice little cutscene with Luke looking for something you see in The Last Jedi. So it has that, but, you know. Moving on to some Punisher news. They've casted Annette O'Toole and Corbin Bernson. I know who Annette O'Toole is, but I don't know who the other one is. I can't. I've seen him in some shows, and we obviously know Annette O'Toole comes from Smallville. Mm-hmm. But I honestly feel that the Punisher is going after them in some sense. Uh, let's see. Um, They're going to be yeah. husband and wife. Yeah, I know this guy. I know Corbin B- Burnson. I've heard of him before. Yeah, he's yeah. a good actor. Yeah, he is. Let's see. Is there anything else? And the greatest news of all, Cobra Kai is getting a season two. Oh, I'm happy for you. I am too. Like I said, I'm probably not going to watch it because I just I I'm not a fan of Karate Kid. 
dude, just watch it for the music, if anything. Mm. The music, it's just the nostalgia. Just look at it as a nostalgia show. It's mm-hmm. great. I honestly think if you gave it a shot, you might like it. Well, it's a YouTube Red show, and I don't like the YouTube Red content. I just don't. Not well, not. Well, what I'm I to agree with you. Is how is how the 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 content is shot with the camera. I don't like it. I don't like their lighting. But that's uh, those shows. This show yeah. was shot. This show was shot more like a television show or more like a movie. You think about it. It's ten episodes, about. 25 to 30 minutes each it's a long movie Mm -hmm. with the great story it it, it builds an arc from beginning to end and it's really johnny's story from his perspective Mm -hmm. you have the guy who was technically the bully in the movie thinking he wasn't a bully and they the one thing that i will say you seen how Daniel attached himself to Mr. Miyagi, mm-hmm. and Johnny attached himself to the the jackass sensei, is because they were both looking for father figures. Johnny didn't have a father. Johnny had a stepfather who was a real a royal dick, and it's explained in the show. Mm-hmm. And obviously, Daniel's father passed away when he was young, so he clinged on to Mr. Miyagi and all that. And they even touched on Mr. Miyagi's death. Okay. And and everything is canon. All the movies, with the exception of Will, uh, Jaden Smith's movie, I don't think that one is canon. But it could be. I'm not sure. But like I said, it's a really good show. You could watch it little by little and enjoy it for what it is. Okay. I'm I'm Maybe I'll check it out. I don't know. Look, man, if Knuckles liked it, it's saying something. That is true. <laughs> I mean, when it comes to liking TV shows... Um, Knuckles don't Knuckles, like shit. Yeah, Knuckles is far more critical than I could ever be. So, yeah. But other than that, Iron Fist rap filming. Mm. And it says it's not going to be like anything we've seen before, but, you know, who knows? Mm. Okay. Oh, what'd you think of the Predator trailer? Okay. This is what I heard oh, like months ago is that they said, one of the actors said that the movie was going to be more like an action comedy. That was my first red flag. I am, this don't I'm in, look like it's an action comedy. There are comedic aspects in that trailer, dude. I saw them. But the thing is, my main issue with the movie now is I don't like how they changed the motivations of the Predator. I don't like how they've done that. Where they make the Predator want to go from planet to planet, collecting, collecting samples of DNA so they can hybridize itself to make it, make it a stronger, better hunter. I don't like that. That's not what the Predator did in the original movie. The, well, predator, I mean... the predator was already an apex Predator, and, it, and the only reason why it killed those people is because for the challenge of the hunt. They're a race of hunters. They don't need to improve on their hunting abilities because they're already apex predators. Well, I mean, you got to wait till the movie comes out in September. Oh, my God. And why the fuck did you have to put a goddamn child actor in the movie? <laughs> Look, I don't like child actors. I've said it before. I'll say it again. I'm probably going to say it many, many more times. I really don't like child actors. Well, I hope you enjoy Eleven in uh, the Godzilla movie. There's Eleven child actors in the next Godzilla movie. No, 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 no. I'm saying Millie Bobby Brown. Oh, you're talking about... uh, Oh, oh, okay. I get it because she's in the new Godzilla movie. Look, she's the exception because she she, she proved herself in Stranger Things. I liked her. She really came out as a good actor, and she has a very bright future ahead of her. However, in most cases, child actors can't act for shit. We'll have to wait and see. Oh, my God. But on that note, I think we're going to wrap it up. Anything else you'd like to add before we go? Let's see. There was one thing I was thinking. I'm trying to uh, – damn, it's gone. Uh, no, I, I got nothing. Well, until next week, guys, 
This was Talking TV Brings You the News, Episode 1. We'll see you next week. Until then, bye-bye.